Right. You said you were nervous beforehand for this yeah. section. I give you the date, the score line of on the day, and the goal scorer. You just have to tell me the minute of the goal. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay. So, yeah. And then how close or far away you are to the minute. Okay. You get scored for that goal. Fine. Yeah, nearest the pitch. <laughs> on a pub quiz. Yeah, I'm up for that. But like I said to you beforehand, they are quite... They're not just like Sheffield Wednesday beaten Charlton 1-0 or... Sorry, Charlton fans or... Anyone like doing there's some quite big games, big score lines, and iconic, famous goal scorers and goals for Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, let's jump straight into it. I'm going to let the viewers know Woody has actually been he's been brave. He's gone back to the 1995 1996 Sheffield Wednesday season. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you want me to tell you people, other people's scores, or do you want to just jump, jump straight in blind? I'll jump in blind. Yeah, that'll jump only in make blind. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. So your first goal is Chef on the eighth of April, nineteen ninety six. Sheffield Wednesday beat Arsenal one nil. And I don't know how you pronounce his lad's name. Is it Degrassi? De Grease. De Grease. Yeah, De Grease scored. As Sheffield Wednesday beat Arsenal one nil on the eighth of April, nineteen ninety six. And what I'll do is I'll play the goal beforehand so it rejogs your memory. Oh, I think I remember this one. Two Arsenal defenders cuts between them. Oh! De Grijzer's in support. And there's De Grijzer with the finish. And that's oh, an important Grijzer. goal at a crucial time of the season for Sheffield Wednesday. I'm just going to apologise to you and the listeners and the viewers beforehand. This commentator is one of the worst commentators I've ever heard in my life he <laughs> i got this i got these clips from a sheffield wednesday youtube channel so i'm assuming he's a sheffield wednesday commentator i yeah. don't judge by his reaction to these goals he's not he's honestly he's so depressed at every <laughs> single goal <laughs> yeah so what minute was i think the you, uh, the commentator said the grace so i'm going to say well actually i'm going to listen to you because that commentator is not the best you know so. Going on the condition of the turf and the way that the wind was moving. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, do you know what I had in my mind? I had the number 53 in my mind. Is that what I you're going to go that. with, 53? I'm going to go with 53, yeah. It's not a bad guess. It was the 61st minute. Oh. So that's only eight. <laughs> yeah, only eight off. Right, fine. I'm happy with that. Good start. And your second right, second goal. Sheffield Wednesday six, Leeds United two. Oh, on the sixth, day. on the sixteenth of December, nineteen ninety five. I'm going to enjoy this goal as well. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of a helping hand because you your season is caught. It's quite far back, isn't it? I believe this is the sixth goal. Is it Richie Humphreys? No, it is David Hurst. Ah, oh, legend. Yeah. Okay, roll the clip. Shimmies one way, then the other. Kicked over, knocked back in. Hurst is it? Classic. It certainly uh, is. Stupid. That's Wednesday's six, and the goal book continues. And David Hurst credited with that particular goal. This commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. My he, 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 yeah. He, he, he did just say the sixth goal there, so that is that will give you hopefully a bit of a clue. Hopefully. And also, there was a gentle ripple of applause there, which tells me that probably people have started going home. So I'm gonna go eighty-one. Eighty-seven. Oh, C. I'm actually surprising myself with this, mate, because I'm actually closer than I thought. I mean, I'm You're... early. I'm only two in, but... Everyone has said the exact same as you that when they've come on. They've gone, oh, dreading goals in time a bit. And then when it's come to it, it's like, yeah, you're not too bad. You know, something yeah. definitely clicks in the, in the head. Yeah, exactly. Third goal. There's a horrible theme happening on goals in time recently. It seems to be goals against United. You know, for the sake of the, oh, yeah. the guests, I, I, I have to put them on. <laughs> this is on the 9th of December, 1995. Man United 2, Sheffield Wednesday 2. This is Guy yeah. Whittingham's goal. Good old Guy Whittingham, yeah. To leave 
far side. Nolan, Riser making the run. As Old Trafford. The penalty is swung by. <laughs> oh, that's a tremendous header by Guy Whittingham. Coming yeah. in. Ball knocked in at pace. Oh, Lee Briscoe as well. Look at that. <laughs> what minute was Guy Whittingham's goal at Old Trafford back in 1995? And that was a 2 2, wasn't it? I think I remember. It was 2 2, one. yeah. So, Guy Whittingham's goal put uh, Sheffield Wednesday 2 1 up. 2 1 up. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. But as as United, another clue, United tend to shoot towards the second end, uh, the Stretford, United tend to shoot towards the Stretford end in the second half. In this game, they might not have done. That's all I'm going to say. They might not have done the nil game. So you're telling me there's a chance. Right. <laughs> there we go. Go on. Right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go 73. 78. Yeah, not. Oh. Five out. What? I'm getting like in the same number, though. I'm yeah. Well like, you've gone that you've put it you've gone down every single goal. First goal was eight minutes out. Uh David Hurst was six minutes out, that one's five minutes out. These two up. Yeah, well, I'm glad because these next two goals with that shirt and I know your love for Chris Waddle, you should be getting these bang on. All right, okay, no pressure. Sorry, Chris, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he is. So, these are quite iconic, I think, because I prepped these a few a few uh, weeks ago, but I am sure I'm right in saying these. So Sheffield Wednesday beat Blackburn Rovers 2-1 on the 23rd of August 1995. I believe this was Chris Waddle's last goal at home for Sheffield Wednesday. I believe yeah. I'm right in saying that. Yeah. It kind of started taking a back seat this season, which was quite sad. Yeah, when I looked through the tr like transfer market for like to see what goals he scored this season, he didn't feature a lot in the in the season. But yeah. Jake, tough year for me. <laughs> <laughs> On the right hand side, touchline. Oh, look at it. Falling cross. Oh. Goes in on the far side. Sheffield Wednesday open the scoring for Chris Waddle. Receiving perhaps not only Flowers in Blackburn's goal, but also his colleagues too. So, yeah. I like I like it when the commentators like, it's giving you a bit of clue there. Open this well, I don't really open this. Also, really give you a clue. I'm noticing the kit looked a bit fresh. Wasn't very grass stained or worn, so I'm gonna go twenty six. Eighteenth. Oh, for goodness sake! That's only eight out though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But. <laughs> You've just reminded me of uh, Paziki there. We did a, when we do go to time, it was Norwich versus Ipswich. It was Bradley Johnson's absolute screamer. Oh, I saw that clip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it was in like the 35th minute and his shirt and Bradley Johnson's shirt was filthy. And it, Zeke went, oh, his shirt's quite dirty. So I'm going to say it's in the second half. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, only eight out for that one. You've got, you've right. kept it below double digits every time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I feel quite bad now because this is going to be a sad moment for you. On the 21st of November, 1995, Arsenal beat Sheffield Wednesday 4 2. But it doesn't matter about the scoreline because this, if my knowledge is right, is Chris Waddle's last goal for Sheffield Wednesday. And that's my brother's birthday as well. He's a gooner. So he would have been 10th oh. birthday. Cheers, Tom. <laughs> High persistent comes to De Greiser. Oh, great game. Will slip, comes back to Whittingham. I do remember this one. Ball to Waddle and drilled home by Waddle. Sheffield Wednesday Good take out. the lead. Commentators, did you have a bit of a favour again? He's a. I'm going to go out and say that he's the worst commentator I've ever heard. He's a. I guess a Sheffield Wednesday fan. And he's just going, yeah, took the lead at Highbury. Okay. But yeah. Sheffield Wednesday took leave through Chris Waddle. What minute was the goal? Again, though, I think because Arsenal did do that kind of... They sh they took that end in the, the first half always. Oh, no, they didn't. 
The score was 4-2, Jake, you say, yeah? Yeah, 4-2, and that's the opening goal. That's the opening goal. I'm going to go 12. 20th. Oh, do you know Only what? eight. Eight out again. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> Your final score over the course of the five goals is... 35. Is that bad? Off the top of off the top of my head, I don't think you're bottom. I thought you were gonna say off the top of my head, I don't think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that no, that's that's seven, that's averaging of seven minutes out a goal from a season that's I'm so bad at maths. Uh yeah, you should give me brownie points for going that far back, really. Yeah, to be fair, who's who's uh with Billy's he got top last week, but like his last go- latest goal was he was like his latest goals were in like twenty sixteen or something like that. So I was gonna we was gonna put an asterisk next to his thing. Yeah, but seven minutes out per goal from a season that's nearly thirty years ago. There you go. There you go. I, I'm happy with that, you know. And it's about taking part that counts. It's not about winning. It's not about winning. Yeah, yeah, but uh, and as I said, I'm sure you're not bottom. I will double check. Fine, I'm happy with that. That was that was good. I like that. I, I thought you might have got a bit closer with the Chris Waddle goals. I thought you would have been had them, but I thought before the clip even played, I thought you would have just said the minute. Let's just leave it. You said <laughs> All right. We'll <laughs> oh, I can confirm. Sorry, I've done you a bit of a misservice there. You're not. You're not finished bottom. You, you're actually third. Out of five? Out of five. Out of five. Right. That's all right. That's all right. No, from a season, that's... I'm going to have to come up, I think, with a, a bit of a thing there, a bit of an equaliser. Yeah. Like, either invite me back for, like, a special, like, lightning round or something, whatever. Yeah. Oh. What season would you go for, just out of interest? What season would I go for? I would go for... Can't say this season. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd probably go for maybe ninety seven, ninety eight. Oh, so you're still going? You're still going really far back then. Well, do, do you know? Like, I think even now, like you go on YouTube, like you can get all of like the Sheffield Wednesday season reviews from like all those ninety seasons. Oh, that's... I thought we were going to get. Is that what you're going to go do? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, obviously, not that season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh well, no. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. It's been an absolute laugh again. I remember the talk show to me. That was an absolute laugh, and it's been an absolute laugh again. I don't know if it's gonna do you any justice. You know, the podcast isn't the biggest, but feel free to promote it, whatever. Feel free to promote, plug whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. No, I absolutely love it, and you've done a cracking idea with all this, mate. And thank you ever so much for having me on. I really enjoyed it. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I meant plug yourself, not me, but. <laughs> Plug you, it's fine. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I want to come back yeah. on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have, to, like I say, we're gonna have to get you back on just to do a whole episode dedicated to your Instagram, I think. And yeah. I will look and I will message you to uh get a different another season from you just to make yeah. sure you don't just try not to cheat too much and research it too much because no, no, it, no. Get, it will get a bit suspicious if before the clip's gone, put the finish, you're going, yeah, that minute. Tell you everything that's happened. He, yeah, yellow card for him, him, him. <laughs> or I'm miming the commentator as it's like that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or you've sent me the clips. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Are you good? Do you want to promote your your Twitter, Instagram, uh, Kit Mag Twitter, Instagram, or anything yeah, else you've got going well, on? Uh, Woody W nineteen eighty eight is my uh, Instagram handle. Um, I'm not on Twitter, um, but there's Kit Mag, obviously, which is on Twitter. Um, but yeah. If you love football shirts, yeah, to give us a follow and have a have a ganders. But yeah, thank you ever so much. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, one of the biggest recommendations of Instagram accounts to follow would be Woody from me, if if my opinion matters. Really. <laughs> thank you, mate. Thank you. But then again, you don't like the man of the massa and the Nigeria twenty eighteen shirt. That's all I'm taking. This has been a fantastic episode. That's all I'm taking from it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's episode of Goals in Time. If you could please subscribe and hit the notification bell, it would do me a massive favour. Also, don't forget to follow the podcast on all socials at Shirts in Time Pod.